you about tracing chasing trends okay i don't want you to chase trends trends are just something that come and go some people make a little bit of money some people lose a lot of money it's just not worth it i'd rather spend time at the steady eddy kind of stuff rather than um jumping in on certain trendy things but as things start to sell out or if you have things to sell that you're trying to get rid of or just even used items uh, if you're not cross-listing popular or rare items on multiple platform platforms, you could be losing a lot of money. A lot of people think that uh, that you know used stuff is for eBay and new stuff is for Amazon, and they they don't like kind of cross-list it. But Facebook Marketplace is a fast way to make a dollar without it costing you a cent. Like it, right now, at least. I mean, eventually, I feel like they're going to charge for such a service because why wouldn't they? But why? What? what do you have to lose if you cross promote something on Facebook marketplace? Now you can ship things to people. You can ship them. You can have porch pickup. You can meet people somewhere. Like it's free and it's a lot safer. I think than Craigslist ever used to be because you know, people's Facebook profiles are like their real life. Like you can find out people and like, you know, so it's, it's got more of a trust level. There. There's also Poshmark and eBay and Etsy and offer up and Walmart and Depop. There's so many different places to sell. So if you're struggling to wonder where your inventory is going to go, or maybe if you got some slower sellers and you want to you know kind of do that sell on multiple platforms sometimes things sell for more money on ebay than they do amazon it's pretty rare but it's oftentimes because people aren't checking amazon they check ebay and sometimes those prices are more especially new old stock what i mean by new old stock is stuff that was discontinued years ago and somehow someone found it on the CVS shelf at the bottom and it's like a version that no one ever, you know, I've done this with action figures before where they've had like, you know, cause who really goes to CVS and buys toys? I mean, occasionally there's this and that, but so I used to sell toys and I used to, you know, look for these things in like these, you know, hidden gem areas. Um, so you'll find that like rare action figure that, you know, no one can find because they discontinued it in like 2004. <laughs> and so those can be, you those fetch a lot of money, but a lot of times people look for older items like that, vintage or even not so vintage, but like at least five years old where, you know, you're not going to be able to find it new anywhere um, on eBay. And so they pay more money there. So where if you list it on Amazon, it's going to sit longer because not as many people are searching there. So Paying attention to multiple platforms and trying to list your product wherever you can, that's a great job for a VA to be able to cross list and cross promote your items in different places because you're leaving money on the table if you're not selling anywhere and everywhere. I mean, you're in retail. In retail, you want to sell stuff. You want to sell all of your inventory all gone. Like that'd be, that's like the dream, man. So make sure that you're cross listing, cross promoting and, you know, giving yourself an opportunity to sell wherever you can.